So tell me and tell everybody about this experiment. This is yeah. pretty intense. Yeah, so I had a camera guy come over to my apartment. He, the premise was he would blindfold me, uh, drive me up to 16 hours away to a random city unknown to me, drop me off with $25 in 30 days to see how much net worth. The challenge was to accrue as much money as possible in 30 days, starting from literally, I had no phone, no credit card, nothing, literally $25. And it, it just, it was a very authentic experience the way it came about. We didn't plan anything, we didn't script anything. We said, look, if we've got a film on the back end of this, great. If we don't, we're, we're going to let in the city, I'm from Raleigh, North Carolina, the city that, that we landed, what? Come on. <laughs> and so, so, we, uh, so the city we went to was Knoxville, Tennessee. That's cool. That's cool. <laughs> um, and so, and, and we, we decided, you know, we're going to just let, we're not going to script anything. We're going to let the story tell itself. And for me, Harry, this was a personal challenge. This was you know, because we get cushions. That is a challenge. It, well, this is the United States. I mean, it's, it, 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 if you're broke in the United States, you've got like a smartphone, a microwave, and air conditioning. If you're broke in Honduras, you like might have a pair of shoes, right? And so for me, I felt like maybe my life got a little cushy and I forgot what it was like to shovel eight mm -hmm. hours a day, day after day. And so for me, I wanted to go out and just have that challenge. And, that, and, and you did. I mean, you go to these different uh, places when you get to Knoxville, and you were pretty lucky, too. I remember those two homeless guys who were sitting on the, at the bus stop, and they were very kind, which yeah. I find, and I think you probably found this, too. Don't you find that most people that you meet in this great country of ours are good people? Yeah, and it's not just a southern hospitality. I mean, New Orleans is fantastic. Where you're from, Raleigh, fantastic. But just around this country, people, you're going to meet jerks, and you're going to meet great people. The homeless guy you're talking about, uh, day one, I arrive, I approach these two guys, and I asked them, where's the library? Where can I work? Just I had a three minute exchange. He saw that no, I was- Tell them why you wanted out. to go to the library. Yeah, library, you get, you get on the internet. I mean, Craigslist, I can find work. I can find a roommate. I can, you know, that it, from the internet at the library, I can do a lot of different things right. rather than just knocking on doors. So, but I approached these homeless guys and I said, look, man, I just, just give me some direction here. And over the course of a three minute conversation, that guy offered me his last $4. And, I mean. Think about that, right? I mean, think it's about... Incredible. Now, you, you have to understand, he, he had no idea. I had eyeglass cams, so he had no idea... That you he were was filming on, something. Right. right. So he literally said, I've got $4. And you see it in the film. It's, it's striking to me. So you, you go out, you work hard, you save money, you're kind to people. I knew some of these ideals. I had no idea I would meet somebody like that.